later on. I lashed out at random. Everyone around me feared me, even my friends. I lived a life surrounded by people who looked at me with fear in their eyes. But she was the only one who wasn't afraid of me. She would just smile. Peace of mind. She was the one who taught me what that was and how I could receive it. She taught me how to live as a human. Colleen was a different guy back then, wasn't he? He seems alright back then. Kind of. Kind of. It's a very nice painting, Faye. Hey. What are you doing, Lycan? Oh, it's you, Carleen. I was thinking I'd stop painting the portrait. Why stop now? It's the circumstances. I shouldn't be painting her at a time like this. Eventually, she too must stand at the front line, so... Is that really the problem? Mm. can mm. Her smile. It's killing me. The more she smiles at me, the more I... I feel my very being become insignificant. Inside my heart there is this empty existence. Other than painting, I have no worth. Yet she continues to accept my presence. I feel like I'm getting smaller and smaller. I didn't have this feeling in the beginning. I just wanted to paint her one more minute, one more second longer. I wanted to keep on painting forever, but suddenly I couldn't. As the picture neared completion, the empty part of me started to manifest itself in my brush strokes. I was meant to be painting her as she really is, but this picture is my own self. My empty self has begun to appear within there. That's why I've got to stop now. Your own self? You're just running away. You can't bear it when she smiles at you. By painting her portrait, you notice the gap between your own inner emptiness and her inner abundance. And you could not fill that gap. And that's why you are quitting your painting. You, you were refusing her. Even so, you still can't bring yourself to leave her, can you? In spite of that, why is it that she continues to smile at you? You who can't accept her feelings. You who won't accept her feelings. Tell me why! If it was me who was receiving such feelings? So, Krellian is just pissed off that Sophia turned him down hundreds of years ago, and he's been trying to get his revenge ever since, apparently. That's what I'm getting so far. You're neglecting yourself too much. Why aren't you kinder to yourself, mistress? Was that... was that scene really necessary? Whatever. It's a very nice painting. Roni probably agrees. Is this really her true expression? Yeah. To people who don't know her that well, I guess. Her smile. I don't know. The smile in this picture is somehow different from the one she usually shows us. I realize Lakan's feelings are in there, but... I don't think she has ever opened herself up and shown her inner self to others like this before. You've been painting such a beautiful expression of Sophia. I just can't see the reason why you want to stop. Beautiful? Forget it. This picture. It's anything but beautiful. I can. You say you're empty. Then why do you come along with us? What we've been doing up till now are not just acts of mercy. It's a fight for freedom. Time and again, you've been through life-threatening situations with us. A man who has nothing in his heart couldn't do that kind of thing, right? Roni, you're giving me too much credit. As long as you do something to keep yourself occupied, you can ignore the hollowness inside. From the beginning, my very existence itself was an emptiness. It wouldn't matter if I were to die right now. You live, you die, that's all. Pessimistic as usual. Lakan, and now you're lying. Mm. It's just that you're not good at expressing your own feelings. You're not empty. She knows that. That's why she shows only you her true smile. I don't deserve to see her true smile. She's the hope of the people. Their support. There's so much more for her to do. Why would she open her heart to a mere artist like me? Bro! Bro! Ah, crap, this is a hammer now? 
Hey, bro. What are you doing here? What's up? The Council of Elders of Shavat issued a decision. Tomorrow we will leave for Soylent. Soylent? That's in Solaris. Yes. And Sophia will be coming with us. That's ridiculous. The refugees are still increasing. We can't afford to have Sophia leave Nissan and go into Soylent. That's plain foolish. It's too dangerous. What are you? What are the elders thinking? What are you thinking? Now, it wasn't the council's wish. It was Sophia's will. It appears that she expressed this her de desire herself. I can't be. What is she thinking? Originally, we talked about just being us. Just us? Hmm. New scene. Now it's Lakin and Sophia on the battlefield. Sophia! Sophia! Lakin, what are you doing? You keep back. I knew we couldn't leave Sophia in your care. I'll protect her even if it costs me my life. Ah, oh. boy. Lakin apparently sucks. And then he turns into Groff and kisses everybody's ass and gives them the power! Why don't you go get some rest, Carl? You haven't slept since the day before yesterday, have you? You shouldn't do that to yourself. I'm fine. It's, it's not a problem. Look, I'll watch over her so you go sleep. What will we do if you also fall ill? Do not forget you are the head of the sex military forces. Okay. I suppose you are right. Just kind of glared at Lakin as he walked out, didn't he? Even in PS1 sprites, you can tell a glare. <laughs> Roni said he'd watch over it. Ah, nah, screw it. Lakin's got this shit. I'm tired. Ellie, I am so sorry. I. It was my misjudgment that did this to you. Misjudgment is misspelled there. Sorry, that one gets me. I don't know why. I was terrified. It was like you could see right through me. Your eyes. That look. That was me that was being reflected back in your eyes. I was looking at myself and thus painting myself. I couldn't stand it. So that's why. Oh, Ellie. When the heavens did you find inside of me? When you wake up, I think I will ask you that. On second thought, no. No, I don't want to burden you with my concerns. Besides, I wouldn't be able to ask you. One look into your eyes, and it's easy to see. And I can't say a thing. I wouldn't even be able to tell you how I feel. You are the sweetest person. Ellie! You are someone who cannot bear to see others hurt by your own actions. So you hold everything in and bear all the burden. If you get hurt in the end, you think that is fine. That's what I like about you. Stop. Don't say that. If you become just another human, everyone will. Humans aren't all that frail, you know? They don't need a symbol who is just appearances only. I believe that if you have light in your heart, you can overcome any hardship. What I have been doing is simply showing people that such light exists in the hearts of everyone. I'm just a woman, and to fulfill my womanhood, I'm prepared to throw away anything, even this position. I'm just playing the role of Sophia, but I am still me. I haven't changed. A cowardly, selfish crybaby. I am still the same. Could you live a lie like that and still be happy? I don't want to do that. Oh, they can. I want to live more honestly with myself. To be able to tell the man that I love that I do love him, and I don't care if I get hurt or rejected. You only have one life. I don't want to turn around later and regret not having done such things. I... I... Krylian heard the whole thing. Now he's pissed. That's his pissed expression right there. How you doing, Krillin? 
Do you think I'll let it end here? We are not their possessions. What, what are they fighting? They've never, whatever. Old timey footage again! Wait, is it. Isn't this the same thing we already saw? Yeah, the Yggdrasil looking ship. Oh no, it flies off into space! Just went off into nowhere. Where did it go? What's going on? Sophia! What are you doing? I am ending this. You won't need to fight anymore. So, Krellian, please open your fist and with your open hand gently hold the people who will continue to live. No, Sophia! You don't. Oh. Don't be foolish! We'll help you escape, so please stop! Thank you, Lakehead, but sorry, there's no other way. LA! 